Hi guys, welcome to Gels Tech Ed. I'm Mr. Philly. In the previous episode that I did on troubleshooting, we spoke about troubleshooting theoretically. Now we're going to take a practical approach on troubleshooting. Okay guys, let's dive right in. Troubleshooting. From time to time, computers need what are called the equivalent of a medical checkups. When you use a computer for a period of time, problems may develop, which even though they are usually not serious. Now, the first one we're going to look at is the computer tower is not turning on. The first possible cause could be the loose power card. Make sure that the power card is pushed in the back of the tower and that it is plugged into a working electricity socket. Yes! So we looked at the computer tower and we saw where the cards were out of place. Now we're going to look at why the computer monitor is not turning on. And some possible causes can be a loose card or the button is not pressed. Okay guys, so I want to check and see if the power indicator on the monitor is switched on. Yes! Okay guys, so we're going to look at the keyboard. Why is the keyboard not working? Now if you look closely, we have some lights indicator here, they're not on. Now if I press the caps lock or the num lock, there's no light. What could be the possible problem? Now I'm going to check at the back where it is plugged to see if my card is unplugged. Most definitely yes, it is unplugged. So I'm just going to insert it in the port and let's check it. Great, the light is on, perfect. The mouse is one of the most important thing on the computer. It can be frustrating when your mouse is not working. Ah, there we go. It's working. The light is on. <laughs> Guys, it's working. Okay, we have come to the end of our practical session as it regards to troubleshooting. I'm hoping that you guys have learned a lot. Alright, don't forget, like, subscribe and share.